for, uh, for this problem, what we're gonna do is we wanna find out what the inverse is. And there's kind of some simple steps that we're just gonna follow to find the inverse. So the inverse, we write as a little negative one of x is gonna equal. So what we're gonna do is there's a couple steps, all right? And since we've been dealing with functions, you guys are you most used to using y equals like, remember like mx plus b? Like that's how we learned how to graph y and x. Well, now that we were talking about functions, we kind of got away from the y. And what we really did was, you know, we started talking about input and output values. Well, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of go back to using that y. And it's gonna help us solve the problem a little bit easier just because we don't really wanna be solved using this f of x. Um, so your first step that we're gonna do is we're gonna swap um, f of x for y. Now they mean the same thing. Y is your output value. Y is your uh, dependent or uh, dependent value. So it's going to mean the same thing. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to swap my f of x for my y. All right. So this is just going to help it. It's not changing the problem at all. The y and f of x mean the same thing on a graph. Same thing, but um, the notation is what we've been using for functions. Now we're going to go back to using y. Then the next thing we're going to do is now we're going to swap our uh, x and y. Because if you remember, when we talked about inverses, um, the domain, if I was looking at a function, the domain of one function is the range of the inverse function. So what happens is, you know, coordinate points, um, it's like that you're swapping your x and your y. So like if I was going to say, like, here's my one function, here's f of x, if I was going to look at f inverse of x, all right, what happens is your points are, you know, diff they're, um, th they're swapped, they're uh, switched around, all right? So what's the domain of f of x is, is now the range of my inverse function. So you swap them when you look at a graph. So that's exactly what I'm going to do algebraically. I'm going to swap my x and my y. So I'm going to say x now equals y minus 1 over 5. And the reason why you can see now why we want to switch from uh, f of x to y, because now the next thing we're going to do is you're going to solve for y. So I see here I have a fraction. To undo uh, my fraction, I see that my fraction, fraction is mean I'm, excuse me, I'm dividing by 5. So to undo division by 5, I need to multiply by 5 on both sides. Well, any number divided by itself is going to cancel out to equal 1, and therefore I'll just be left with y minus 1. So then I obtain 5x is equal to y minus 1. Now I'm going to get the y by itself, I add 1. So I get um, f of x plus 1 equals y. So now the fourth step is now to swap my y for f inverse of x. Because now what I've just completed is finding the inverse. So now I say f inverse of x is equal to 5x plus 1. And now I have just completed finding the inverse of a function. So you follow these four easy steps, you can find the inverse for anything that you want. No, I'm just not active.